In military news, Chinese scientists allegedly develop long-range, disposable, nuclear-powered torpedoes. According to Chinese news sources, a Beijing research team says it has completed the conceptual design for a small, low-cost nuclear reactor that would be able to drive a swarm of torpedoes across the Pacific Ocean in about a week. In contrast to the Russian, Poseidon, Krulis submarine, the first known underwater drone propelled by nuclear energy, this new torpedo could be mass-produced with relative ease. Not only that, but the scientists said that the new torpedo could be placed into a standard torpedo tube and launched in vast numbers from virtually any submarine or surface warship. Each torpedo would use a throwaway nuclear reactor to propel it to and maintain its cruising speed of over 30 knots 56 km per hour or 35 miles per hour, for 200 hours before being dumped to the seafloor and using a battery to power a conventional weapon strike. In a paper published this month by the peer-reviewed Journal of Unmanned Undersea Systems, a publication run by the China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation, the nation's largest naval contractor, lead scientist Guo Jian from the China Institute of Atomic Energy claimed that there is a fundamental difference between the design and the Russian, Poseidon. Thanks to its high flexibility and low cost, this unmanned underwater vehicle equipped with the nuclear power system can be used as a conventional force like an attack nuclear submarine, rather than as a nuclear missile, he said. Russia's Poseidon is a theoretically very dangerous weapon that could destroy a coastal city or a larger area using its onboard 2 megaton nuclear weapon. For reference, that payload is 100 times more potent than the Hiroshima bomb. However, the Chinese researchers claimed that using such a weapon may start a nuclear war that would end the world, making the development much more unlikely. They said that the Poseidon primarily functions as a strategic weapon, which is not the intended role of their new torpedo. Guo said there is a growing demand in China for small, high-speed, long-range unmanned underwater vehicles that can be used in reconnaissance, tracking, attack and strategic strike. Being nuclear-powered, these torpedoes could have a massive range. Nuclear energy can supply a large quantity of energy to support these tasks, however, most reactors have complex structures and are expensive. To build a new nuclear power system with mature and simple technology that is easy to use and maintain, inexpensive and suitable for mass production, we need to think out of the box, Guo explained. How would the torpedo work? As soon as the torpedo departed the launch tube, a chain reaction would begin, taking approximately 30 minutes 20 times faster than a typical nuclear submarine reactor, to reach a working temperature of 572 degrees Fahrenheit 300 degrees Celsius, and propel the torpedo to a cruising speed of roughly 37 miles per hour 60 kilometers per hour. According to the researchers, the reactor could run for up to 400 hours while traveling over 6,200 miles 10, which is roughly the distance between Shanghai and San Francisco.